An entrepreneur and investor who does his own research was out early predicting the financial fiasco in 2008, and he's now making new predictions on the banks and Apple. He's betting on Google, and he's got a great case on that. Herb Greenberg talking to him back at HQ. Get to it, Herb. He's got a lot of interesting things to say. Look, Aaron, look, I first literally stumbled on Reggie Middleton a few years ago when I was researching general growth properties. He was so far ahead of everybody and so detailed, and then he started warning about Bear Stearns and Lehman. Well, he was so far ahead of the curve, I actually thought he was nuts. So he now runs the, the Boom Bus blog. He also sells research to several big-name research firms. Reggie, thanks for joining me here. Okay. Middleton, investeerder and schrijver van de website Boom Bust Blog. Rating agencies serve their clients. And, okay, yeah. the biggest clients the rating agencies were the banks that you see here. So it's hard to say that the rating agencies did something wrong. They did their job, and their job was serving their clients. It appears that they were wrong if you don't understand their business model. Reggie Middleton, investeerder en schrijver van een kritisch financieel weblog, keek goed naar de rol van de kredietbeoordelaars in de financiële crisis. The rating agencies used a methodology, uh, a methodology known as uh, HPA. Um, uh, uh, HPA, which is Perpetual Housing Appreciation, where when they price the CDOs and the derivative structures for the mortgage-backed securities back in 2005, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, they assumed a minimum perpetual appreciation of housing that would be positive forever and ever and ever. So basically, if you throw a rock up, it kept going up and up and up and never came down. Um, we all know how that turned out. Um, the mere fact that you would assume perpetual uh, house price appreciation means either you aren't very bright, which is not the case, you know, these guys are definitely not mm, stupid, or you had ulterior motives, and those ulterior motives weren't necessarily in line with getting a true assessment of risk. And a lot of people used to complain about Microsoft and their operating system with Internet Explorer during the dot-com days, where they say, well, when I tried to open up a... Uh, a competing browser, it crashes. And they say there's a bug in the operating system. And then I would say, that's not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> <You know? laughs> they don't want you using a competing operating system. So it's not a mistake that, in my opinion, that uh, the rating agencies are doing. They are facilitating the desires of their clients. And their clients pay for a rating with a product that they want to bring to market. And if it needs a AAA rating, the rating agencies give it a AAA rating. But the United States is in bad basically. shape, but its competitors are in worse shape, yeah. as for right now. Um, there's a triumvirate of China, the EU, or China and Southeast Asia, the EU and surrounding, uh, you know, um, nations, and the U.S. And basically, I think there's a game of chicken to see who blows up first. Um, and whoever blows up first is going to lose their capital and flight to the other two nations. Um, which helps them continue the policy a little further. The U.S., um, if the interest rates on U.S. Treasuries were to increase, our um, debt service would be significantly higher, potentially unsustainable. Um, but in order for it to increase, it has to be a significant reason to increase, and that capital needs to go somewhere else. Um, right now, even I couldn't take capital out of Treasuries and put it into EU bonds because of the EU situation.